Yo, what's up guys? It's Asiatic for Ill Philly TV. Welcome back to my channel. It's another comic book Wednesday. These are my books for 13th of February 2019. There's a lot of great titles that are out this week. Also good variant covers and a few key appearances. But be before we start and talk about comics, I just want to say happy, happy Valentine's Day. May you guys are doing something special for your loved ones. May it be your friends or family, your partner. You know, it doesn't have to be something special. It's just maybe just saying how much you appreciate them and how much you love them. That's good enough. But it also doesn't have to be just one day a week to show your appreciation. It, it has to be every day, man. Spread the love. That's what I say. Spread the love like peanut butter jelly. <laughs> yes, that should be every day. Spread the love. And talking about spreading the love, I just want to say thank you to my subscribers, to the people who watch my channel, all the new and you know, when you see your notification and you see that there's new subscriber, it always warms my heart and makes me want to create new content for you guys. And I really, really appreciate that. And also shout out to the people that likes and comments on my videos and give me feedbacks. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Low Profile Gamer, Capital JB Comics. He also has a channel. And, you know, he comments and subscribe to me as well. Mike, um, another subscriber, new subscriber, is, and he's saying that I should connect with other um, comic um, people on YouTube who have a channel as well. Maybe they can give me a spotlight. And he said, you know, I deserve more viewers. And, you know, thanks for that. I really, it's really good. And um, thank you also to Ace98R1. He always comments every time I have a new video out. And it really, really warms my heart. And I really appreciate all the new and old subscribers. And yeah, man, I will try to hard to give you guys new content every time. And if you guys are on Instagram and you want to add me there, I also have um, um, an account there. My username is variant.collector. I'll put the link in the description um, down below later on. So check me out there if you guys are Instagram. And, you know, I always post loads of um, new pictures every time. So it'd be good to connect with you guys there. Okay, all of those out. Let's start with the books, guys. So as you can see, I have The Avengers No Road Home. Something about that later on that I want to talk about. But as you can see, I have the 1 in 25 variant there, which is a Mark Brooks variant. But in the middle, I have an independent comics by Antarctic Press. Antarctic Press have been doing amazing job lately. I like the stock paper. It's really good. And, um, you know, they... The, they do a different varieties of books. So this one is called The Devils. It's a, based on a true story about these two Japanese guys who's avoiding, um, you know, capture and um, retaliation by their enemies. Um, and also there's a thing about the swamp, which is kind of a bit horror. So it's a mix of a horror with, you know, war stories. And if you like those kind of things, you know, Check it out. I also mentioned on Instagram that this is my pick of the week when it comes to reading because I read it already. And it it was quite good until I read, you know, The Magic Order, which is, um, I will show you the cover in a second. But this is also good. You know, it's a bit choppy at times, but, you know, the concept and the storyline is really good. So check it out. If you like it, this is based on a true story. And yeah, it's hot right now. It's selling quite well on um, eBay already. I see people selling it for 10 to 15 pounds already online. So that's Devils number one. Also some new ones out. 
by Antarctic Press is Exciting Comics. This one have loads of different covers. Um, I also have um, the the Frank uh, a homage for Frank uh, Miller's Batman, but it didn't come today. I only have the main covers, but there's a few different covers. This is basically like superheroes from the 40s, which are available for um, the public domain. And, um, you know, exciting comics is also a comic book back in the day. So they kind of like recreating it, you know, introducing all the other superheroes. They're creating this um, a universe for them. I can't remember the name, but is they creating new universe with different superheroes. You got Crimson Scorpion, Madame Mass. In this book, there's like three stories of different superheroes just to introduce them and getting to know them. Um, there's also one called Black Jack. So there's quite a lot of things here. It's, it's, it's exciting because there's a lot of introduction and we could be in for a treat with the new um, universe of superheroes and that's Antarctic Press exciting comics that's issue number one so like I said the devil's supposed to be my when I read the devils I was like wow this is the first few pages I was like yes this is good story and everything but not un until I read the Magic Order. This is the final issue in the mini series, and it's epic. You know, if you guys haven't been reading this one, I don't know what you guys are doing. This cover is very simple, but it's also good because you got the Venetian um, shadow right there, which is the main, you know, antagonist of the story, along with um, Lady Albany. So it's really good story and uh, this is gonna be on a netflix series guys so check it out you know this one it's still going for cheap there's um you know i think it's still going for cover price so check it out if you haven't read about it yet magic order is one of my favorite books at the moment by the way guys um i just want to say sorry because there's a lot of noise in the background because at the moment our house looks like a building site we're building a lot of things refurbishing the kitchen and the bathroom and yeah there's a lot of tiling being done so apologies for the noise but hopefully you can hear me all right but so let's move on after the magic order one of the indies if you can even call vault indie but yeah it's indie but it's really good. This Savage Shores number three. This one came out last week. I had my copy, but it didn't come. It just came a few days ago. So, yeah, I'm showing you that one. This is amazing, amazing story, guys. If you're into, like, pirates and horror and vampires, this book is for you. This Savage Shores. Both have been releasing a lot of good books lately. So, Check out Vault Comics. They got Friendo. They got Fearscape, Savage Shores. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this this title, but damn, it's amazing if you guys are into those, you know, horror genre. Really, really amazing, guys. Blackbird, issue number five from Image Comics. I've been loving this series. I've been continuing reading this one. This is a Jen Bartel cover. As you guys know, I like Jen Bartel so much. There's also another cover which is made by Jenny Friesen. I didn't get that one, but I thought this one is much better. I like her artwork. It's very clean, nice lines. And next up, um, Dark Knight's Metal. This is issue number two. I can't believe this is just sitting in my local comic book shop and it's so pristine with the gold um, foil or metal foil silver foil man can't even remember it's a foil but this is dark knight issue number two this is one good book because of some few cameos in here so the list goes 
first cameo appearance of the Drown, the Dawnbreaker, the Red Death, the Merciless, the Devastator, the Murder Machine, the first appearance of Baby Darkseid, and of course, the most important thing of all, sorry, <laughs> the Batman Who Laughs. I don't know guys if you just heard me just burp there. I'm sorry, sorry about that. I don't know what. I'm I'm eating some yogurt and I don't know. I just burp. Moving along, we have Mike Mignola's Hellboy, Seed of Destruction. This is issue number one. This is a mini series of um, four issues. It was released in 1994. I actually have one back in the day. And I don't know what happened to it, but, you know, I've been moving on different places before. And i always been collecting comics, but, you know, I don't have a, a place that time that, you know, every time I move and I lose comics and I don't really, you know, store them properly and then they get missing. But anyway, I just saw this on my comic book shop because they know that the Hellboy movie is coming out. So they displayed all their Hellboy books. But this was actually a reasonable price. I got it for six pounds, which is, you know, very, very cheap. Especially if you see what, how much they're going for on eBay at the moment is double or triple the price. And this is actually still in good quality. There's a few nicks in there, but it's all good. Came out in 1994. It's the first Hellboy title, you know. This is not his first appearance, guys, just to let you know. This is just his first self-title. But there's a few appearances there. There's a first appearance of Rasputin and first appearance of Trevor Brotherholm. And this is increasing, like I said, on eBay. And also the origin of Hellboy is here. So it's been increasing. If you can, guys can get it for cheap, you know, I recommend you get it at the moment because who knows what's gonna happen the trailer of hellboy looks sick and you know don't want to miss out if you can get it for cheap get it okay next up guys is the batman who laughs that's why i showed you the dark knight metal a while ago the issue number two because of this book batman who laughs if you guys don't know, this is a six-issue mini-series, and it's been doing great so far. It's amazing. This is the first battle of um, the Batman Who Laughs and Green Knight, and it's epic in a way. So if you guys are following um, Scott Snyder's um, Batman, you know, this one is really, really good, and I suggest you guys get it. I also have the variant cover which i think it's better than the you know normal cover what i've been doing so far is getting the regular cover and also getting the variant covers so there you go next up next up detective comics 998 we're getting nearer to the thousand guys this is a new storyline by the way um i don't know what to think of it but i've always been picking up you know detective comics i really like them but i don't know about the storyline this is a beginning of a new storyline and hopefully we'll get something in the thousand i've been getting it all the way like i said and this is the variant cover i didn't like the what do you call this one? I didn't like the normal cover that much, so I got this one. This one I've been enjoying. Justice League Dark. This is issue number eight. This is the normal cover. The variant cover of this one is amazing, but I didn't pick it up. I don't know. There's something about this cover that just like I was drawn into. Normally, I get both if I'm undecided, but I, I, I stick to one. There's a... New um, cameo of team appearance of the new Lords of Order in here. So if you guys are into new appearances, there's a cameo here. Check it out. It's really, really great story, by the way. 
Justice League Annual Issue Number 1. This one came out last week. My comic shop didn't have it last week. It was a delayed delivery, but now I have it. Luckily, the, when I got there, it's only three left. I only took one. But there's an appearance here of Perpetua. And Perpetua apparently is going to be a big major villain, major player in the game, according to Jim Comics. If you guys don't know, I follow Jim Comics and he is really good. And it's funny because the other day he liked one of my um, pictures on Instagram and I was like, oh, Jim Comics, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. And yes, thank you, Jim Comics, for stopping by. Um, yeah, he's, he's really good when it comes to comics and I really, really respect that dude. And uh, yeah, Justice League number one, there's also the first appearance of a new version of Omega Titan in this one. So I highly, highly suggest you guys get this book. Next up, Winter Soldier number three. That's the origins of RJ in this one. So this one has been a good book well for me at least you know especially issue number two the appearance of rj there actually the first cameo appearance was in the last page of number one so if you guys like winter soldier i've been liking it so far and i'm i'm really really happy with this um run so far i think it's it's only a uh, a mini series but yeah origin of rj which is another assassin from hydra check it out okay true believers captain marvel number one this is a reprint of marvel superhero number 12 which came out at 1967 this is written by stan lee actually so if you guys don't know yet captain marvel's film is being released soon that's why what they're doing is like they're reprinting a lot of different um, Captain Marvel. And True Believers are very good because they're cheap. And most of the time, they use the original cover and they just stick a True Believer um, logo at the front. This is a reprint of Marvel Superhero number 12, which is the first appearance and origin of Captain Marvel and the first appearance of... Uh, Cree warlord named Yon Rog. So if you guys want that copy, you know, not most of us will have those kind of books unless you've been collecting for a long time or, you know, if you, and some of them are probably not in pristine condition or good condition, but, you know, True Believers is good because they're cheap and they're reprinting old classics. So, and they're, they're just a pound. So if you're into that, check true believers out this one is a good one to collect okay next up captain marvel number two issue number two there's a first appearance here of som s-o-m and this one is written by kelly thompson and kelly thompson always have a knack of writing characters that you don't really care about and make sure, and you know when they give it to Kelly Thompson, she turns it around. Like for example, West Coast Avengers, uh, Mister and Mrs X, and now Captain Marvel. You know, Captain Marvel is not really a fan favorite in a way, but when Kelly Thompson writes it, it makes you wanna be engaged more and get to know more. And this is what I feel about this book. You know, I start to like it, and you know the artwork as well is amazing. I also have the variant cover, which is 1 in 10. This is actually a pristine, pristine condition. I really want to put it on a slab because this one is a wraparound cover. There's another um, characters at the back. And yeah, I highly suggest you get it. Captain Marvel, first appearance of SOM. Moving along, I got... The Amazing Spider-Man number 15. I'm thinking of stopping this issue. You know, I don't know why. There's not much going on at the moment. You know, they're teasing us with um, Craven the Hunter on a few issues. I think it's 16 or 17. 
but really it's just it's just treading above water at the moment there's nothing much on it but hopefully they could do something big on amazing spider-man talking about being big dead man logan number four you know i'm a big logan fan a big wolverine fan and um you know this keeps getting better and better if you guys can get the safino variant the one in 25 which you know i didn't get that so i got the normal cover but if you got that one you guys are lucky because that is so good and it's crazy at the moment how much is it's going for ebay but story wise this is getting better okay immortal hulk number two this is the second or sorry third printing this came out um this wednesday as well um but that's why this this is a famous book because the appearance of dr fry this is issue number um, two if you haven't been reading immortal hulk guys it also tie in in a way in a um avengers no road home because hulk is part of the new team that is being assembled in no road home here so check this out this is in my opinion is one of the best stories at the moment that marvel is doing along with um, venom um, thor and doctor strange i like them as well but this one you know they're they're doing that kind of like horror route where immortal hope whether he's you know a monster or a hero and you know there's bits of little horror nuggets in there and it's really good the next gen age of eggman issue number one this is also a small mini series check this out i have a few of them already like i think there's already three different out all issue number ones i haven't actually read them yet so i don't know what to say about it but you know it seems like a pretty good book next up talking about good books conan the barbarian i've been enjoying that one i'm i'm a big big fan of conan the barbarian i've been you know watching and reading it when i was growing up and this savage sword it's also good i think it's written by um jerry dogan jerry dogan the one who wrote um dead rabbit as well i think that's where i know him from i don't know a lot of his um work but this one so far is amazing this is the raza variant this is one in 25 I also have a black and white version which is one of 50 i didn't get that but also have the alex ross cover i mean my big bet is just stick to the alex ross cover because there's plenty of them out at the moment so highly suggest you get this one if you're a big fan of conan and this one is is a serious serious book and i really really like them okay talking about the big one this week for me is the avengers no road home this is the same told you guys this is the same creators that um, wrote no surrender so if you guys don't know no surrender it's an epic epic event and this one i i believe will be an epic event so i suggest you guys get it i have one two three four of the one in 25 those are mark brooks variant this is the connecting cover and this is mark brooks hidden gem variant and but also the big one is and this is my pick of the week my cover of the week this is adam use variant guys this is one in 50 i have two of them it just didn't come the second one didn't come yet so i was reading this one guys and at the end of the page there's a appearance of nox or nix and um, i thought it was a first appearance of this character but i did 
further research and I realized what I found out is this NOX or NYX N Y X is been already appeared on one of the books before which is I think is Doctor Strange I believe um, back in the days and if you guys don't know NOX or NYX is the it's it means it's a Greek um, word for the goddess of darkness I think that's the right one the goddess of darkness the Roman Greek or goddess of night something like that that's the major villain in here I think so far it's only one issue if you guys don't wanna know I wanna I wa this is gonna be a spoiler alert I'm gonna show you the page where it is this this is Nox there and that's Scarlet which having her eyes gouged because she said her name you shouldn't say her name but I think this the first issue is pretty amazing guys and um, yeah if you haven't bought it check it out I highly suggest you guys get this one and that's all for now so hope you guys enjoyed that one please like comment and subscribe on my videos and um, I see you next week peace for now this is Asiatic signing out peace